hello everyone uh, so welcome to the second video for building a react applications uh, using the spring boot api so currently i'm building the uh, spring boot uh, services uh, rest in points so as we know that we successfully run our application and it's running perfectly fine here uh, kind of give you some error but anyway it's running so so let's let's begin all right so let's begin with the uh, creating the model uh, for the uh, customer so let's create a new class and change this to tutorials.entity we need an entity for the customer so this is the entity for customer and we tell them this is an entity by all right we tell them this is an entity caught we are using the jpa so we'll tell them this is an entity and we, we need the id as well so this is going to be your increment id and we'll tell them okay this is an id and we also tell them that this is a generated value we need a generated value here uh the generation the strategy is equal to generation type should be auto so this will give me auto increment so the another thing what we need is we need a string we need a name definitely for the customer and this customer will tell them okay why right, this is not null uh, not null uh, and we have to give some message here if you want to give some message message is name is required right this is just for val validation okay so the next is we need a date of birth so, uh, so for that one i'm using a calendar class for date of birth dob the date is kind of i don't know it depreciated a long time ago so and another one we will use a credit limit so the credit limit is going to be a double credit credit limit all right so make this dob small letter and credit limit okay okay we will import this guy as well we need to import this calendar so we have a calendar here so we will tell that we need a calendar and critically both of them are not null it's required just put needed you know you need to put it otherwise it will give you just some big errors okay anyway so this is good so so far we have this model which is really good we generated now gather and seller so as you know it's pretty simple right click there and generate it and select all okay and you gonna go back here you can do right click and source and you have to also generate the constructor using the super class okay so the constructor is using to super class is generated i will also generate the constructor using the field and i don't want this id but i want all other field okay good our entity is ready now let's create the cons controller so i'll create a new class new class called customer controller con control control controller and package should be com dot tutorials dot not tutorials should be crm don't know why change oh yeah i think i changed that i think you guys have a crm from before uh, i will change back to everything to crm now so i will change back to com dot crm dot customer not customer it should be controller controllers okay so now it's everything is controller i will change this package name refactor it you can refactor it and this is tutorials going to be crm i'll do okay continue this is now change this refactor rename to this to crm okay good now everything is changed so perfectly fine so we have the crm application is starting to build starting to build so we still we see here uh, error uh, because we don't haven't created anything yet so we'll tell them i will tell the spring boot that okay this is the rest api controller so you can and, and this guy if you tell here public dot string and we'll just give a test and uh, no no it is going to be get customers 
but for now I'll just return as a test now just to see that this will work or not so return test so here we have to tell them this is the request uh, this should be we can also use okay request mapping request mapping and we will tell them the value we could also use a get mapping here then another which is shortcut but i'm gonna do this i'm gonna use this guy all right the so method gonna be the request 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 by request request method what is a method here and it should be okay this is the get message okay now if i go use customer then this should return but one more thing still left is the spring does not know what the heck is uh, the customer controller so we have to tell that we have to tell them to scan that guy so we have to tell that scan everything on crm and we have also the entity which is going to be used for later on we'll tell them to scan it okay uh which we can we need this for later on so i'll just tell them to scan this crm good so this will automatically run because we use the dev tools so now if we go to the customers then we will see the test so on the next video i'm gonna show you the how it's connecting to database stuff so that's all for this video thank you very much for watching